I'll take it from here and another record setter for the hurricane season we are currently living through. Tropical Storm Kyle has formed about 250, 300 miles northeast of our coastline. The good news is it's moving east northeast away from us at 17 miles an hour. So it's going to get out of here in a hurry. We'll check it off the list. It's made its mark in the history books, but the impact here is going to be next to nothing. 40 mile per hour wind gust. So we kind of take a step back and do the eye test. And this thing remains lopsided like so many storms have been this year. You can really see this on the visible satellite. So remember, visible satellite is just like going up into space and looking down in the daylight. And you can see that all the activity with this storm is on the right side. There's really nothing going on on the left side that's lopsided. That tells us it's disorganized. So again, it's there, but it's not going to have an impact on our weather. But look at the list. This is storm number 11, the earliest 11th forming storm on record breaking the record set by Katrina in 2005. Now, Kyle is no Katrina, obviously, but 2005 was the year we went all the way through this list and into the Greek alphabet. And we're two weeks ahead of that pace in 2005. So I don't like where we're going. The good news is tropics not impacting us, Josephine or Kyle. We do have rain, though, and a chance of severe weather now tomorrow. Tonight, just some heavy downpours, occasional thunder and lightning. There you can see a strike as we're dialed into live lightning in southern Johnston County. We've got some rain passing through the Fayetteville area, and we've got some wet weather in Lee County. We're dry for the most part here in the Triangle. That won't be the case all night. We've got a little bit of rain coming our way, especially in southwestern Wake County. But we've also got some scattered showers and storms up along the Virginia border. So as we head into tomorrow, you're going to see more rain on the radar. And the trade-off will be slightly cooler temperatures. Today, many of us are still parked in the 80s as our highs topped out around 90 yet again. And as we go into tonight, we'll keep a few scattered showers and storms around for the next few hours, even into the late night hours with drier weather as we head toward dawn tomorrow morning, Saturday starting off in the low 70s. So let's walk through Saturday together. It's not a complete washout, but a lot more of us are going to see more rain for a longer period of time time tomorrow. Here we are at 7 a.m., some clouds, maybe some fog in the morning. If you've got stuff to do outside, I'd do it in the morning because here we are at lunchtime. A few showers start to bubble up. Notice more green throughout the day tomorrow. This is 4 o'clock Saturday. We're going to keep some scattered showers, storms, heavy downpours, slow movers through the evening hours before the overnight hours Saturday into Sunday starts to dry out. And then Sunday's looking like to be the pick day of the weekend. It's not going to be sunny in 75. But it's definitely going to be drier and maybe even a couple degrees cooler. So Sunday morning, we've got some clouds. And then as we get into the afternoon, we'll see some activity develop. Most of that off to the east, unfortunately close to the beach. If you're headed to the beach this weekend, you might have to dodge a few showers and storms both days. So for tomorrow, all of us in a marginal risk of severe weather will be on the lookout for damaging wind. On top of that, this is a different map. This is a flood threat map. I know it's similar colors, but all of central North Carolina is in a low to medium flood threat because of the slow moving heavy rain. So I know it's supposed to be a day off tomorrow, but we got to stay on with this weather. We got to keep an eye on it. So good rain chances, mid 80s, and that threat of severe weather and maybe some isolated flooding. A little drier on Sunday, and we've got lower humidity still in the forecast early next week. Notice the overnight lows. Anytime in the summer, we've got overnight lows in the 60s. You know we're on borrowed time. So enjoy that. Stay weather aware tomorrow. We'll be back with more on Josephine and our weekend weather coming up in the next half hour.